What's up guys, it's Azarin here and we are back with more TLK coverage. Week 3, we're trying to catch up here since I haven't been able to post all the videos of the TLK but now that I have time, I am able to catch up because right now we're on week 4 so this is the last of our catch up, playing catch up. So my match here is versus T-Bug or Thunderbug and he's got a scary team as you can see on the screen. Mega Mawile, Latias, Rotom Heat, Celebi, Umbreon, Greninja, Sarina, Talonflame, Clef, Miss Magius, Zepstrika, and Seismitoad. Now, <coughs> now the way I prepare for this team is going to be as follows. So we've got here our ICMZ Magirna. He's going to be our shift gear Magirna. 189, um, 189 is guaranteed to outspeed some form of scarf, I think. Yeah, because the shift gear gets it to three. No, 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 it's actually not. It's not enough, 360, what? Excuse me? Did I EV this right? Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to outspeed Serena with that amount of EVs. 360, 70, something. Huh. I'm not sure. Okay. I think I made this outspeed, uh, fuck. It's a, it's a scarf something. Because I don't think... 189 times 2 outspeed, 189 speed times 2 outspeeds Greninja. It doesn't outspeed Greninja, so it must out, have to outspeed a Scarf or some sort like that. Either way, we got Flash Cannon, Dazzling Gleam, Ice Beam Shift Gear, Max Special Attack, Modest, um, 160, 160 HP. And it's pretty standard, our end game sweeper. We got Life Orb Entei as our second Mon here. E Speed, Sacred Fire, Stone Edge. Um, Hidden Power Grass is strictly for... Maybe this is the right T build. Is it, is it the right, it's not the right, is this not the right build? No, this is the right build. I'm pretty sure this is the right build, yeah. HP Grass, am I tripping or something? Did I miss... Oh, if this is for Seismitoad, yeah. HP Grass is for Seismitoad, yeah, I'm tripping. <laughs> and everything else is just to hit hard. Stone Edge is able to hit like um, a Rotom Heat on the switch in hard and Talon Flame, but other than that. Now we'll move on to Low Punny here, which has enough speed. I know that this 152 Jolly that you can see is enough to outspeed Greninja and Talon Flame. So it's got Fake Out, HJK, Return, and Healing Wish. Pretty standard. Max Attack, Jolly. Battery's running low, so we gotta hurry this up. So now we got here Roserade, spe Max, Special Attack, Speed, enough speed to outspeed um, Zarina, maybe? Probably Zarina. Here's what we're looking to outspeed here Zarina. With this Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, Spikes, and Synthesis. This is my Spike Setter. It can also take special hits from, like, it can live one from Celebi. It can, it can live um, hits from Zarina, definitely, Zebstrika, and Seismitoad. Then we have Zygarde here, another setup sweeper just in case Magirna doesn't work out. Lumberry Dragon Dance with 1000 Arrows Outrage, Extreme Speed. Lumberry is for like a Toxicking Umbreon or a Toxicking Celebi or even a Will O Wisping Rotom Heat. I can continue my sweep from there and not have to worry about being hindered. 184 Speed, 184 Speed um, Jolly is able to outspeed god yeah i think this is this is definitely going to be able to outspeed serena rose raid is probably able to outspeed like max speed jolly size method or something like that is probably what i ev that for and finally we have marowak with 108 speed jolly as you can see i have a hard on i have a hard on for jolly for this team build shadow bone stealth walk fire punch sd this is for like umbreons to deal with to break through umbreon with sd fire punch you know this wall serena this can break through clef live a hit from talon flame um this this i can play around with mega mawile especially if it doesn't have sucker punch but main goal of this team is to assess the threats and then choose one of my end game sweepers whether it's magirna or zygarde and lopani is support as backup you can healing wish backup one of my setup sweepers so I can break through a team with one and then revive it back and just break through the team again at a later time. So without further ado, let's move on to that replay. 
we are going to be on the far side this time. You get to see my mons. As we see T-Bugs mons, Rotom Heat, Talonflame, Celebi, Umbreon, Sarina, and Greninja. So T-Bug leads off with Greninja. I lead off with Lopunny. I go straight for the return here because I feel like he... My mentality was he wouldn't stay in. Like, he shouldn't stay in on a Lopunny. And it works out better for me too because he clicks return so I know now, oh, we gotta watch out for that. So I switch out into Roserade here, trying to take a hit from him because he's not Protean. He goes out into Talonflame though, the switch it. Talonflame was to switch into a low punny return, mind you. So I was like, okay. So now I switch out into Zygarde from my Roserade. He takes some recoil damage. I'm gonna double out into Marowak Alola, trying to predict trying to predict probably like a Celebi coming in or a Sarina. Um, but he goes for the Willow, so now I get a free like Shadow Bone here. No, actually, I'm going to get my rocks up, which is actually smarter on my part of his two fire types. He goes for the spikes, and I switch to the low penny, so I realize, oh, wow, this is um, Spikes Greninja. So he goes for the fake guy. I go for the HJK. I put him down to his sash, and he goes for another spike. I'm going to click return here, knock out this Greninja, and now we go into Rotom Heat Formation. I'm going to go for the HJK. He's going to do 59% as he goes for the Reflect. I'm going to go for the Return here, not risk of the HJK, and it's going to be able to knock out the Rotom Heat. Now we go to Celebi. I'm going to switch out into Magirna. This thing goes for the Nasty Plot. I know since he set up a Reflect, I can live. I can live on um, what you call it. I can live an Earth Power with my HP investment. So I'm just going to go straight for the shift gear. Just trying to go. No, actually, no. I'm going to go. I'm not messing around. I'm going to go for the Sub Zero Slammer. Probably afraid of him baton passing into something. So I get my Soul Heart here. As he goes into Umbreon, of all things. Like Umbreon on a Fairy type. Alrighty then. He's going to go for the Endure. I'm going to go for the Dazzling Gleam here as he gets the Salak Berry boost. So he's going to baton pass into Sarina. And I'm going to go for the Dazzling Gleam again, and I'm able to knock out the Serena, so... And now he's going to go into Talonflame, he's going to go for the Roost, I'm going to go for the Ice Beam, which does 41%, so, so that means Dazzling Gleam will do more. But I'm just in case, oops. So now he's going to go for Brave Bird, he doesn't even have Fire move, and at that point, Gleam's going to knock out the Talonflame, and I take a nice 6-0 victory versus T-Bug as I'm able to kill his Umbreon with the Rocks. So, he told me later he was trying to do like some baton class Z splash thing into like Sarina or something like that. But, I don't know, like when you when a Magirna is setting up in your face, you better deal with it. So, now we're caught up with all the TLK matches, so tune in to, towards the end of this week for my week 4 match. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.